Okay, so why don't you just first off tell us um, who are you and what do you do? My name is Adam Turman. I'm an artist and uh, I'm from the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. I do illustration, I do mural work, and I do um, uh, screen prints. Uh, I'm a screen printer as well. And then also I have a merchandise line. So typically, uh, I'm working with commercial clients mm -hmm. to basically try to um, create something that's with in their brand mm -hmm. and solving their problem. So a lot of clients come to me and then they're looking for me to basically make something to make them look cool. Well, I know um, I've mentioned you to a couple of my friends and I mean everybody knows who you are. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tell us where you have some artwork that people could see. Do you have any any commercial spaces that um, people could go and check out? So, usually when people ask me the question, I and they they live in Minneapolis, they live in the Twin Cities somewhere. I usually tell them that are you familiar with Butcher and the Boar? Mm -hmm. So that is the restaurant that I did the mural in their parking lot, oh, and um, okay. that particular restaurant is on a very busy corner in Minneapolis. It's right on a bus line. A lot of people see it. So when people, when I when I mention I did the Butcher and the Boar mural, mm -hmm. people usually say, ah, now I get yep. it. And they kind of connect the style with um, with me and who I am, mm -hmm. and, and they, they kind of put two and two together. Mm -hmm. uh, another space that I've uh, done recently is um, Target Field. So oh, I did their new Bat sure. Barrel space. Super fun mural, huge. I mean, yeah. it's kind of fun to paint Kirby Puckett at, you know, 28 feet in the yeah. Um, some good detail in there. Super fun, <laughs> super fun. Uh, another couple of, of pieces that are more public that people can see. Um, uh, there's another one called Scout Workshop that's in Lindale. So that's uh, uh, right in the heart of Uptown. And okay. that's a pirate ship uh, with skulls in the waves and mm -hmm. this kind of this uh, moon and a, and a song of the, the siren, song of the sea kind of girl mm -hmm. going on. Um, I love doing murals like like those because that those are the types of projects that uh, are really reflective of me and my taste and what I like to draw and paint. Mm -hmm. um, something similar to that too is uh, one of my favorite murals of all time and uh, that I've done, and that's at Four Bells. Oh, so yep. the sister restaurant of Butcher and the Boar. Mm -hmm. That's a boring, boring yep. park. It's kind of tough to find because it's back tucked into this mm -hmm. cool little alley. But that's an octopus. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that there. So much yeah. fun. Yeah. And so now with your, you know, these large murals that you paint, you have prints. Um, what made you sign on with us to um, have your murals printed? Uh, that coming on with murals your way was just a really fun opportunity for me. I think that it's a whole other medium for. Um, basically my audience to try to mm -hmm. attain and put into their home mm -hmm. is something that's large scale but not extremely large and also a little bit more cost effective too. Mm -hmm. It's something that they can put up on, on their wall themselves if they want to, um, if they have the means and um, it's an, just another way to showcase my artwork to an a, a, a even broader audience yeah. than I already have. Well, I think it's wonderful, and we're so excited to have you as one of our uh, exclusive artists. And uh, Adam's going to uh, help install the mural in his office. So, uh, should we get going? Let's do it. All right. All right. Yes. High five. Boom. Uh.